Do you ever find yourself stuck on a word during the TOEFL reading section and wonder, what does this even mean? Vocabulary and context questions can seem intimidating, but with the right strategies, you can decode them like a pro. Ready to tackle them confidently? Let's go. Welcome back to Explified, your go-to channel for mastering TOEFL strategies and boosting your English skills. Today, we'll break down how to handle vocabulary and context questions effectively. Let's dive right in. What are vocabulary and context questions? Vocabulary and context questions test your ability to determine the meaning of a word or phrase as it's used in a specific passage. These questions aren't just about definitions, they require you to consider how the word fits into the surrounding text. Example, if the text says, the scientist's theory was dismissed as speculative, a vocabulary and context question might ask, what does the word speculative most likely mean in this context? The answer would relate to ideas that are uncertain or not based on firm evidence. How to identify vocabulary and context questions. Look for phrasing like, what does the word X mean in the passage? Which of the following is closest in meaning to word? The word X in the text most likely means tips for tackling vocabulary and context questions. One, read the surrounding sentence carefully. The context of the sentence where the word appears often gives you the best clue about its meaning. Example, text, the politician's remarks were deemed inflammatory, causing widespread protests. Question, what does the word inflammatory mean? A, encouraging unity. B, causing anger. C, promoting discussion. D, ignoring facts. Answer, B, causing anger, as the context refers to protests. Two, Understand the overall tone and context. The meaning of the word often aligns with the tone or topic of the passage. Ask yourself, is the tone positive, negative, or neutral? Does the word reflect approval, disapproval, or neutrality? Example, text, the ambiguous statement left the audience puzzled. Tone, negative or unclear? Answer, ambiguous means unclear. Three. Eliminate out-of-context choices. Some answer choices will be unrelated to the passage. Use process of elimination to narrow down your options. Example, text, the engineer's meticulous attention to detail ensured the project's success. Options, A, careless, B, detailed, C, hasty, D, indifferent. Answer, B, detailed, as it matches the context of careful attention. Four, substitute each option into the sentence. When in doubt, replace the target word with each answer choice. Choose the one that fits best in the sentence without changing its meaning. Example, text, the artist's work was described as eccentric, attracting mixed reviews. Substitute options, unique, ordinary, strange, predictable. Answer, strange, as it fits the context of mixed reviews. Five, don't overthink it. Vocabulary and context questions are designed to test your reasoning, not your dictionary knowledge. Focus on the passage itself and avoid adding your own assumptions. Practice question. Text. The company's profits this quarter were marginal, leading to concerns among investors. Question. What does the word marginal most likely mean in this context? A. Significant. B. Insignificant. C. Steady. D. Sudden. Answer. B insignificant, as concerns indicate minimal profits. Why are these questions important? They test your ability to derive meaning from context. They improve your overall reading comprehension. Mastering these helps you understand complex academic texts, which is vital for TOEFL success. Final thoughts. Vocabulary and context questions might seem tricky, but with practice and these strategies, they'll become second nature. Remember to focus on the surrounding context eliminate unrelated options, and trust your reasoning. If you found this video helpful, like, share, and subscribe to Explified for more TOEFL tips. Let us know in the comments which strategy you'll use first. See you in the next video.